You're still alive at Dillian's death. Does it deserve to be dead? How does that make you feel? Dillian's in the tower. He's there. You are guilty. You'll always be guilty. Was it worth it? Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, here is a wand, I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the roller... Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes, movement, an intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. Everything has broken in the end. But the shadow of darkness so never let her go. Because he believed in she was you. caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian, her future. 
Two realities tearing at her soul. Do you remember the way he looked? Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a trick? The gods Nobody were lying. Very careful. 
Dillian never much cared for the underworld, and looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbao. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes, slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Genoa, your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. You're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress. And in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong. Fearless. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. What is this place? It's creepy. creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Where are we? Turn back. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. This place stinks. Oh, it's disgusting. It smells like death. Oh, I can't breathe. Can you smell the death? Oh. Towards it. He's in the house. He's Follow going him. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. 
Don't let him just be <laughs> It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Now you will help stand your front. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. No one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like them. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in. <laughs> 